Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. And today I have the second bottle here of two stacks. Oh, I wanted to actually have the bottle here. So let's put that back up here. Aren't they beautiful bottles? This is the um, first cut, 43%. And this is the blender's cut with 40, sorry, 64%. Wow. So for some reason, whiskey base says 65.15, but I don't believe it. Um, this is actually identical to this. This is whiskey base number 163379, and the only difference is the ABV. So we have here five different whiskeys. In this, we have a we have 40% grain, virgin oak, single grain, um, 40%. We have 40% grain, ex-bourbon, 40%. And we have then 80% in total grain in both of these. Then we have pot still whiskey. I guess it's three a triple distilled in ex odoloso cask at 8%. Then because it has double distilled single malt in ex bourbon cask, 10%. And it has 2% of a peated single malt. Everything comes from the Great Northern Distillery, Bravo. Um, John Teeling bought a old Guinness plant and converted it into a distillery called the Great Northern. Mark Rene did exactly the same thing down at Waterford and converted a Guinness plant into his Waterford single malt plant with his terroir. Now, John Teeling is the absolute conviction that Irish whiskey is a blend. And for a blend, you need grain. And so he's producing a lot, a lot, a lot of grain. Two Stacks Irish Whiskey is proudly brought to you by the team at Irish Craft Beverages, also called here Irish Craft Beer Limited. Uh, they have over six years of experience importing and distributing various Irish spirits, um, Irish liqueurs and Irish um, creams and now Irish whiskeys. And so they teamed up with um, Brendan at the Kilhoan Distillery for the blending as well as the bottling. And they bought all the products from the Great Northern Distillery, the brand new distillery. So this is the first time we've had something like this. So um, let's do this. Um, we have over here the 43%. So let's put a little bit in the glass. And we have, which I did, I was not a great fan of this. I gave it a C, uh, C minus, a little metallic towards the end. And over here, um, we have the 64% straight from the cask. 70 euros. 35 euros 90. So you get two of these for one of these. Wonderful bottle, des bottle design. I've mentioned that. On the nose, I put my nose in this and I went, and I get nothing. I do get, I mean, no, no alcohol. I get great flavors, but where is the alcohol? It's 64%. If I do this to Stag Jr., I sometimes actually go, ooh, burnt nose hairs. Nothing like that at all. This is very, very nice. Now we have the blender's cut, um, which is coming soon, which of course would probably be a very, very strong one in Barbados rum casks, um, apricot brandy cask, which I bought. Um, the Sultan cask is the blender's cut as well, and the Tawny port, which I bought also. Um, we have an importer here in Germany, and her name is Mareike Spitza. She's at www.irish-whiskies.de. And it's a privilege to work with her together and to actually cooperate. We don't work together. We cooperate. I don't get any money from her, so it's cooperations. <laughs> Working would be actually earning money with her together. And um, so she's the importer of this for Germany. So she's getting firsthand some of the best stuff over from Ireland here in Germany, which means I get it, which means I get to do my videos about this. All right, let's try this. I, I can barely, but I can't believe that it's 64%. Um, whiskey base number... One six three three seven nine. So huh. just reading the website and it doesn't say anything about the um, it just says cast strength. And it says here actually on the picture 65.15. So apparently we over here in Germany get a different blend than you have over there in the UK or at least in, in Ireland. That's interesting. Even the picture it says 65.15 and here it says 64%. It's handwritten, by the way. Um, if you take a look at this. So you can see the 64 there is handwritten as well as on the back of the bottle. You also have a 64 which is also handwritten. All right. Cheers. Solange.
Mmm. Mmm. The tiny, tiny load of an alcohol burn. I've had 43% um, percent products, ABV products from, from, from Scotland that have burnt my mouth. This is 64%, 64%. And it's sweet. There's a honey sweetness here. There's an oak sweetness. There's a little bit of a fruit sweetness. It's not an overly sweet moment. It's not like a jam type of moment, but it's a very, very concentrated type of of um of um, I'm gonna use the word silkiness. Wow. Um, question of the day, what is your favorite cast strength Irish whiskey? Number one, Jameson, 12-year-old cast strength. Number two, the Whistler, Whistler, seven-year-old cast strength. Number three, two stacks, blenders cut cast strength. This is good. <laughs> this is the um, a foreshadow of what Great Northern can do. Beware Middleton. This is really good stuff. Mmm. Mmm. This is a B minus. Value for money, C plus. Yeah, of course I'd like to have a little bit cheaper, but this is very, very good stuff. I get some apricots towards the end. Um, mmm. Good, 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 good stuff. Um, over here, I did not, I, I, I can't say I, I did not love the, um, The first cuts, it went like this. It went, oh, okay, a little bit weak at the beginning, but a little bit fruitiness, a little bit of alcohol with wood, and then a little bit of metallic. Over here, I get from the very beginning to the end, it's a very, very, very constant, nice moment. A tiny little bit of pine in there, actually. Hmm. So, our first cut. And this is the problem of if you have your cast strength um, samples, you say, oh, wonderful, let's bottle it then at 43%. It's like, that's not what I ordered. And they're going to say, yes, you did. <laughs> but it tasted like this so much better. Well, you should have ordered it in cast strength. And this is our problem. The cast strength is not the same thing as then 43%. Non-chilled filtered, no color added, by the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That end is really, really putting me off. Over here, oh, I need to drink something nice. To, that's an interesting thing. This is exactly the same stuff. This is exactly the same juice. This is only watered down, and this is straight from the cask. And it makes such a difference. Ah, light pineapple. As I said, a little bit of apricots, a little bit of a honey, a little bit of a honey suckle. Pa, 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 light pine notes and wood, wood sweetness. Cheers. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. A light astringency after coming off that, going back over to here. Mm. Oh, nice. And I cannot, and I cannot, and I cannot believe that it's 64%. If you would have said that's 52, 54, 55, I would have went, that's about right. Mm. I could drink this all night, and that is dangerous. You can't do cat strength all night. You'll end up in the gutter, and who knows what happens then. So, Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey from the Viewpoint of an American in Germany. My question of the day is, what is your favorite cast strength Irish whiskey? A B- in taste, a C, um, C+, plus actually in price. I would much, much rather have one of these rather than two of these. This is where it's at. This is the future of Irish whiskey, and the future looks very, very bright. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share this one. This is one of the whiskeys where it's like, wow, this is a wow, this is an epiphany whiskey. Two, um, two stacks is the person to be looking for, but actually the, the secret behind the genius here is Great Northern. Great Northern Distillery is going to supply a lot, a lot of whiskey to the world of the independent bottlers, the blenders, bonders, if you like.
These are independent bottlers, and um, they're going to produce a lot of grain, a lot of single malt. They're going to make great whiskey over in Ireland for us to actually taste, enjoy, and to um, actually review. Thank you very much for watching. Whiskey Jason, thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye.